Hey, it's Ashley. Halloween is right around the corner, which means we get to create a fun little Halloween spread in our planners. And I'm going to show you the Halloween spread that I come up with. I had this idea in my head and I, I just decided just to go for it and see what happens. So to start this off, I will be using some cardstock. I've got a few different sticker books. Most of them I don't end up using. I have some little cutouts that I made and I'll talk about those here in just a second. Um, this is the cardstock sheet that I have. It's just a black sheet of cardstock. That's where I'll be tearing it out. These little things here, I made these on Canva and then I printed them out. I cut them out and that's what we'll be using. I have these stickers from the Happy Planner, which I don't end up using. And then I also have these two sticker books from the Happy Planner and I only ended up using the, maybe I used both. I don't remember, honestly. We'll, we'll see that here in a second. I really love taking cardstock, tearing it, and making it look like it's like kind of like well look like a rip sheet of paper on my paper <laughs> um, that's a great way to explain that isn't it but what I'm doing here is I rip the cardstock down it's cool it, it creates you know the jagged edges and I'm just kind of laying everything out first before I start sticking everything down uh, so I'm just kind of placing the black seeing where I want it to go some of this will be cut off camera. I truly am sorry. I have a new filming set up and I'm still trying to figure out, <laughs> figure out all the things and making sure that I'm still in frame. Again, I'm just kind of laying everything out here to figure out where I want the pieces to go before I start sticking everything down. Okay, now that I know where I want everything to go, I'm going to take some Tombow double-sided adhesive tape and I'm going to adhere everything down. If you do not have this tape yet, definitely add it to your crafting and planning toolkit because it is incredible. I have tried many other brands. I've tried the Dots. I've tried um, some other brands of double-sided tape and the Tombow is just my favorite. It's a really good tape. I really do love it. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking some scrap paper and I'm laying the ripped sheets down on it and then I'm taking my adhesive tape around the edges, like the jagged edges, so that way those don't rip up, they don't get snagged, they don't tear, and it just kind of makes sure everything is adhered down really well. And I like to take the Tombow tape too, you'll see here I'm adding it to the corners of the planner pages, that way I make sure I'm getting the corners stuck down as well. And then here you can kind of see me going over the edge of the ripped sheet, I'll stick it down, cut off the excess and then boom everything is literally everything is stuck to my planner pages because I kept getting the uh the scrap paper that I was using stuck onto my planner pages but that's okay it comes up fairly easy now I will say since I just said that once you get these stuck down and like you push them together it's not coming up if it comes up you're going to rip everything you're going to rip your planner page you're going to rip the rip pages already uh so I just want to say that since I said that you know, I could pull those other pages off my planner page if that makes any sense whatsoever. Man, I hope I'm getting better at these voiceovers and not worse.
And here I was just trying to decide if I wanted to use one of these other pumpkins that I had cut out. Honestly, I kind of cut them out a little too big. I should have resized them and made them a little smaller. But it ended up working out because the other thing that I wanted to put over here on the left side is the word October. And I ended up doing that instead of those pumpkins, which you'll see that was kind of a mess. Uh, but I got it all figured out and I'll show you guys that here in just a minute. For the word October, I typed this up on Canva and I printed it out. I actually ended up printing this out three separate times with the second way I typed it out a little bit differently. But anyways, here my plan was to cut these out individually, adhere them down into my planner and call it a day, but I really wasn't liking the way that that was going. So I ended up doing two other different styles and then I kind of had to choose between the two and you guys will see that here in just a minute. And here's where I scrapped that idea. I ended up popping back on Canva, retyping up October. This time I typed it up just a little bit differently. And my thought process here was that I could cut these out as one strip instead of cutting out each letter individually, which one would save me time, two would make it so much easier whenever I stuck these down into my planner. So I started to cut all of these out. And then I had a different idea, which you'll see here in just a second. And I ended up reprinting October again, but ultimately I went with this idea right here and I think it turned out super cute. So I ended up splitting OTC. Wait a minute, did I say that wrong? OCT. OCT from OBER and my reason for doing this is because when I printed it out the T and the O were a little bit further apart than the rest of the letters so I cut those that way whenever I'd hear them I could get those letters closer together. So I ended up cutting out that clip of me cutting paper because that's worse than watching paint dry. I didn't want to make you guys have to sit and go through that. Uh, so anyways, this is where my third idea was coming into play, which this one was really cute. Um, it's a really good idea. If you guys want to uh, use it, go for it. But I ended up printing October again, and I thought this would make it a little bit easier. But like I said, I ended up going with the other way. So I took the word October. I tore around it to make it have the same jagged edges as the black cardstock does. And my thought was just to adhere this down. But I ended up going with the other one. I like the more kind of like detailed cutout. And I think that looks so much better. And here's where I ended up scrapping the idea of using the torn October. And I decided to go back to the cutout October and I ended up cutting the rest of it out off camera. I didn't show you guys that again, that's boring. But here I'm just gonna get my mess cleaned up. I'm gonna do the same method where I get a sheet of scrap paper. I'm gonna take my double sided tape and I'm gonna adhere the word October down over here on the left side. And where I had split the OCT from the OBER 
I did the O-B-E-R first. That way I could get that T lined up with the O where it was supposed to be since it kind of cut out a little bit or printed out a little bit wonky, which is probably my fault. It's probably something that I did inside of Canva. Uh, who knows? But anyways, I did that first. That way I could get the top half of it lined up correctly. All right, now it is time to move on to adding a few stickers to the spread. Honestly, I had planned on using more stickers, less like cardstock, less cutouts, but I really like the way that this turned out. And I'm actually kind of glad it worked out this way because now I have more Halloween stickers to use inside of my catch-all spread. So I'm really excited that that worked out the way that it did. Um, by the way, I didn't mention this earlier, all of my planner supplies as far as the stickers and my planners go come from the Happy Planner. I will link their website down below in the description box if you want to check them out. This planner specifically is for my social media. This is where I plan out Instagram, YouTube, and I'm also a health and fitness coach. And I do plan stuff out in, um, for that inside of this planner. So I needed a flag or like an icon sticker for each day of the week to note my Instagram post and I don't have any that's just black. And as you can see, I'm going for a black and white theme here. So I pulled out a stencil and I grabbed a Crayola marker and I'm just using that to create those little flags for each day of the week. I started to look through the Halloween sticker book from the Happy Planner. My goal was to try to find some more Happy Halloween stickers, but there was only the one in there and I decided not to use it since I didn't use any of the stickers from that book. I wanted to use them inside of my catch-all spread for the week of Halloween. So I pulled out this seasonal book. I found the word Halloween, but it's way too small, so I decided not to use it. And I ended up pulling out the fun alphabet sticker book and I just created the words Happy Halloween with it. Now luckily, I had two of the fun alphabet sticker books because I didn't have enough L's. Now if you only have one and you run out of L's, you can definitely recreate an L using some of the other alphabet letters. But I didn't want to since I had two sticker books, I just went ahead and used them. Might as well, right?
Now underneath of where I'm sticking Happy Halloween, it says bills to pay. So I just took some white out to cover that up because I am using clear stickers and you would be able to see that up underneath of it. You can kind of see the white out, but it's not, it's not that prominent. Like it's not like sticking out at you. I love white out for this reason. I've talked about this before. I have some of those like white gel pens. I do not like those at all. I, um, you know, you may love them. I don't recommend them, but if it's something and you're like, I love the white gel pens, dude, do your thing. Use them if they work for you. I just personally don't like them. I like white out for covering up little things inside of my planner if it's going underneath of a clear sticker. Adding Happy Halloween was the last thing that I wanted to add to this spread. So I got that done and now it is finished. You guys, I love it so much. I think it turned out super stinking cute. I cannot wait. This has me inspired, like ready to create some other fun little Halloween spreads. Uh, if you guys want me to film those, let me know down in the comments section. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope you have an incredible day. I'll see you in the next video.